Hello, hello, and welcome back to Anne's Gaming Suite. Have you guys been well and fantastic? Today, we are back with another View Rising video tips and tricks uh, in terms of what you should do as a beginner uh, starting off the game of V Rising. If you guys are playing in PvE or PvP, it doesn't really matter. These are all the things that you should do anyway in order to uh, successfully build a castle and uh, defend off other players or or just to pvp or pve other bosses but anyway first things first make sure you guys hit that like hit the subscribe and also leave a comment section down below if you enjoy these tips and what other ones would you like to see but first of all i want to share with you guys my base or our base have absolutely been raided they have taken every single thing that is important um at first i was kind of wondering why and how they got through the base but i realized they just pretty much ransacked through the door as there was only three layers they had to go through. Uh, we didn't quite fortify it as the way we should have. And that is pretty much a tough luck. So there, go, oh, there goes all our uh, 300 wool threads and a whole bunch of other uh, scourge stones that we just pretty much lost. But anyway, let's get on with the video today as it is about the tips. The first tip is Okay, so the first tip when you start out into the game, you realize there is a journal quest located on your top left hand corner. You want to process or proceed through these quests as fast as possible. I know there will be times where it may be difficult. For example, uh, the quest I am currently stuck as, you have to build a, a uh, Eye of Twilight. However, the Eye of Twilight does uh, require a big amount of I guess materials for example gold ingots and spectral dust which is all in the next tier area uh, so we're looking at pretty much curse forest and silver light hill we haven't quite got that far i'm only currently level 59 there's a whole bunch of hallowed mountains that i am still missing as well so that's the first tip make sure you guys proceed through your quest line all right the next tip that i want to give out as well is very important when you guys build a castle uh, make sure you guys fortify it first and foremost really well whether you guys want to do honeycomb uh, that is it will delay a lot of raiders attacking your base uh, but my suggestion is to make sure you have more than you know more than four layers right at the moment this is actually shithole uh, they can pretty much go through that and take all our goods like they have done in the front door however the second tip is always get servant coffin servant coffin is so important why is it so important and the reason being is that when you have all five seven coffin uh you have some pretty good op gears on them for example even copper or iron is good enough you can go and create a castle or a, a throne in which you can send them out and they can g literally go and farm you materials this is very important because it does help you in your quest to get the materials that you need so once you be or once you are able to build the throne simply sit on it and then you can command your servants to go to different areas so we just take a look so if you send your servant to the haunted iron mine you'll get some iron ores get some bones hell Sharion, and you will get the general area loot items if you're after cotton or blood essence they can bring you back and pretty much every single camp area will give you a certain item when you send your servant. So it is a bonus for you because you will get extra gears or items that you will need. So that's the second tip. The third tip that I'm going to give for you as you progress the game, uh, currently at level 59 or even, even at an earlier stage, you might not find someone that has a higher, uh, I guess, ability or unless you don't have or already unlocked the blood hunger. Uh, it might not be too useful at the moment. However, the second, the third tip is all about capturing prisoners. When you capture prisoners, you will find this quest where it says uh, this person has 96%, send a 2% for warrior, and they will give you attribute based on your blood pool. You can feed them, and then you can uh, pretty much either kill them or you get rid of them. But if you want to feed them, they will increase their health. And then what you do is you extract their blood to to an order. Uh, Pretty much immediately go and fill up your blood pool instead of going out there and trying to find the right pool which does take a long time so that's the third tip find those prisoner cells feed them up well and then you have uh, you are pretty much set uh, in terms of getting the correct blood pool when you start your game that's the third tip over and done with so the fourth tip is this is very important because it's all about fishing 
Uh, in order for you to get the fishing ability, you, you do have to defeat the Rufus of the Foreman. So if you go into your little boss tracker, you have to kill this guy, which is located at level 20. Fairly easy guy to kill. Uh, he will give you the ability to create a work woodworking bench, uh, which gives you the ability to do fishing poles. So why is fishing poles so useful? It goes back to your prisoner cell. So you can get recipes when you fish at a certain chance, but at the same time, the reason why you want to fish is because it does give you a lot of other materials that you will be using in your crafting or fitting your prisoners. And that's the reason why you should really, really fish the best as you can or the most you can uh, when you have the time. All right, moving on to the next one. So in terms of all those tips that I already provided, the next tip is base location. Uh, I'm going to do a separate video in terms of where I think is the most appropriate castle that you should build. But however, keep in mind, if you do play in a server that is very populated, there is going to be a lot of areas, uh, especially in a hill rising area, such so as myself here, which will be taken up or you're going to have to wait until or you raid someone's base. But anyway, at the moment, we are situated in Dunley farmlands. Uh, we didn't originally start here but we did start somewhere in the center. The reason why we chose this center is one, we are so close to the Haunted Iron Mine. We can go to the Cursed Forest if we need it to. There is a Silver Light Hill to our far left, which is the next tier of items. And then there's Hallowed Mountains, which you don't really necessarily need a whole bunch of things down here. However, the most important at the end game is these two places. Could we have gone somewhere closer? Yes, we could have gone somewhere closer. However, there are multiple locations Personally, when we chose this place, um, it was okay. I don't know if it's the best. However, it is very central to a lot of things. Another base that I do recommend uh, that I have built in a PvE server is this location when you start out in the game is in Farbane Woods. Uh, pretty much uh, west of Bandit Armory. You can build a base up here where it is very secure as well. But in a PvE area, you're not going to be raiding a lot anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's more about just farming and building a really nice castle. Anyway, but eventually you do want to move into Dunley Farmlands because that is where the majority of the thing is. Farm, farm, bane wood, uh, not too much. However, as I did mention earlier, I will do another video in terms of location that I think is appropriate. However, always, always make sure to check the location. Make sure there isn't too many entry points. And that is pretty much it. There, there goes my five tips. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Make sure you guys hit that like, hit the subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.